Alright, so this video is about uh, my uh, ultimate man cave, or at least for me anyway. Some guys have the luxury of having a big house. I live in a log cabin in the mountains, so I'm down in my garage here where I'm allowed to smoke and drink and party and work on my dirt bikes and truck and maybe do some cabinet projects or whatever the hell I want to do. Um, so I'm just kind of getting everything built, but I built this rack here for my pool table. Uh, it's about a $3,000 pool table, so I don't want to buy some piece of shit, you know, with a, you know, MDF style pool table. This is a three-piece slate, so it's not extremely high-end or anything, but it's a nice pool table. So I wanted to put on a rack. I did a lot of research about folding pool tables and roll-away pool tables, and everything's just, everything out there is just garbage, and I didn't want to downgrade to that. So I spent about 400 bucks on the casters from Caster Connection. They're four inch casters, uh, adjustable pin style. Um, and then this is eighth inch steel, two by four rails here. Uh, underneath uh, where the feet sit, it's quarter inch plate steel welded from the bottom. So the thing floats about an inch and a half off the floor. Uh, sorry, my welding skills aren't the greatest, but it's strong. If I was to do it again, I'd probably make these go all the way across, but it's plenty strong enough, and they don't bend or move at all. <clears throat> but I did this so I can, uh, you know, bring my truck in, dirt bikes, whatever I want to bring in and work on, and all that jazz. So just my little man cave area here, you know, eventually I'll have like a bubble hockey table. I'll put a base on and be able to roll it in the corner too. This is going to go over there in that corner. So, um, you know, welded this handle on here. I'm going to do another one on that end. Uh, if I was to do it again, I'd probably put straight casters down here. That way I could, you know, it would turn in there uh, a little bit easier. But uh, uh, I haven't actually moved it yet. We just, I just got the pool table on there. Made this uh, rack perfectly level. <clears throat> um, well, you can't always be perfect. So I did have to shim the pool table. I think I used like a... 30 seconds of an inch shim on one side if it was all there was to it other than that it's it's now it's perfectly level I built it out of steel rather than wood or whatever you know that way you can see my floor tilts downhill and and then back this way down a little bit so you can see the amount of threads I have left on on this here uh, versus over here so you can see what I had to do as far as leveling it uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a test run here. These are uh, true lock casters, so they don't swivel and they don't turn. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move it here and uh, do a trial run, see how, she, uh, see how she works out. I'm just by myself. I think if I had that handle on that side, it would be a lot better. But I'm going to set this camera down here against the trusty Mountain Dew bottle and See what she does. So as you can see, it's pretty pretty easy to move. It wants to kind of go where it wants to go. Um, you know, I wish I had put those other casters on there, but see, it's pretty easy to move. Stays level, doesn't tweak, and that was kind of the main thing for me. Building out of steel there, so that once it moved down into this spot, you know, one side would stay up off the ground if needs be, and it wouldn't tweak the, the pool table. I have marks on the floor where my floor is, is level, so I won't bore you with more moving, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty pretty simple to move. So uh, yeah, if you're like me and you want to put a pool table in your garage or your basement or whatever, you want to be able to move it out of the way, I haven't seen any other alternatives out there that are good and solid. Um, so this is a pretty easy thing to build if you can do, if you're just kind of a hack welder like myself and you get something pretty strong. Hopefully that helps you out.